So just another quick video about Virtual DJ and Tidal, because a lot has happened over the last two weeks with Tidal and Virtual DJ, or actually Tidal and DJ software in general. And you probably read all about it and maybe experienced it yourself, but I th just thought I would chip in with a few pointers regarding Virtual DJ that I have experienced. This is just me personally. I don't have really have any inside information here. Uh, so what I would go through is uh, is Tidal and, and Stems. So what has happened? That's the media thing, right? And then uh, the don't upgrade option that some people think may be a solution. And then the, the new Tidal cache, which is of course the positive thing that has happened. Then the new Hi-Fi Plus subscription needed message. Um, and then the, the future for online content in general and when combined with stems. And finally, I'll just go into it if I'm gonna stay with title. But let's just get started. So as you probably know, uh, if you uh, load a title track now, uh, I'm just gonna grab something from the trending thing here. You get a not available in slash A here uh, when you try to go into stems. And if you play the track, you can indeed click the buttons. But nothing happens. You just continue playing because there is no stamps functionality in, anymore since the, hence the in sl slash A. Um, so I'm currently using uh, stamps 1.0. You could see that before I loaded the track. It's the fast one, 1.0. So I could switch to the 2.0, uh, the better one, but it doesn't matter in this case. No matter which uh, stamps uh, option you use, a uh, stamps engine, if you will, it won't work with Tidal. And why is that? Well, that's because Tidal has told everybody, all the DJ vendors, DJ software vendors, to not allow stems with Tidal anymore. So it first appeared in, uh, in Rekabox, the latest version, that you couldn't do it anymore. And then uh, it was rumored that, uh, that Denon wouldn't allow it anymore on their uh, hardware-based uh, separation in the latest controller. And then we got it in with DJ now. And um, like uh, Phil from uh, uh, of, uh, Digital DJ Tips says it's going to be everywhere. Nobody's going to be allowed to use uh, Tidal with stems anymore. So that's, of course, pretty bad. Uh, and that's like the main, the main thing, right? So the, it also is true for Virtual DJ. And then the next point, can you then just do a no upgrade? Uh, so just stay on the same version with the Virtual DJ. Well, you could. It will work, but you have to go back a few public bills, actually. Uh, so uh, you have to do that. And then of course, you won't get anything new. You won't get fixes. You won't get support for new controllers. So do you think you can just stay there forever? I don't think that's a viable option. I mean, that's just not something you will want to do. Plus, I believe that if everybody did that, so that uh, everybody was still using uh, stems with, uh, with Tidal, when using Virtual DJ, Tidal would simply just uh, drop or block the support for Virtual DJ at their service. So that's not a viable option, at least not long term. So that's not something I would recommend. If you do want to try it, you have to go back a few public builds for it to work, actually. But I don't recommend it, of course. Then there's the positive thing, the download to cache thing. So now if I grab a track, this track, for instance, there's now a download to cache option. So with the point thing here, and then it downloads it while and then it's in the offline cache and can be loaded instantly and played from there even without uh, an internet connection and this is of course a great thing so if you plan to use some tracks that you can only find on on title or that you just don't have any place it's on title then you can download them before you go to the gig if you're a little unsure if the wi-fi will work so that's a good thing um of course if we have an online cache um and uh, that actually go, kind of goes together with the, with the next point, which is the hi-fi needed message. Because if you go into Tidal now and you don't have the hi-fi plus subscription, it'll tell you you need to get it before it'll work. That's actually not true. If you go into Virtual DJ now and, uh, and you don't have it, like you have the regular uh, Tidal hi-fi plan, and you go in uh, and load a track, it will work. I can't show you because I already upgraded to test it, right? So I can't show you. Um, but since the message is there, 
I'm pretty sure that'll get enforced in the future. And we can also already tell that if we try to add um, title tracks to something like Automix, it'll get shaky. It'll sometimes work and sometimes not work uh, if you don't have the Hi-Fi Plus subscription. And that actually kind of goes in hand in hand with uh, what it's saying on the website. So here's the website. Just go up here. So title website and pricing. And the Hi-Fi Plus, the main difference with Hi-Fi Plus is that you can listen offline. Last part's not really relevant for DJs, but you can listen offline. So that's the cash part, right? So I think they're gonna enforce Hi-Fi Plus uh, at some point. So you can't uh, use Tile at all if you don't upgrade to that plan. So that's just a, a quick uh, heads up. But right now, you can load tracks and place them and play them, even if you don't have the regular the hi-fi plan here. So uh, we'll see where that goes, but I'm pretty sure it'll be enforced sh soon. We'll get back to that actually a little bit later about the, the pricing. So uh, like you probably see here, it's just a little extra little information. I also have a videos folder here. Uh, not everybody knows this, I thought I would just mention it. Yes, title also supports videos. So I can load and play a video track here. Move it again. So yes, that works, but you can't search for it. So it's kind of a hidden little feature uh, because it's only if you uh, uh, add it on the title uh, website or in the player, if you uh, add it to a, uh, these videos to a playlist that you then use in the virtual DJ, that you can actually get to these videos. Uh, but it's a little extra thing that I'm not sure everybody knows, so I thought I would just mention it. Um, so the next question is, will this spread to other uh, providers here? So is, will it spread to SoundCloud? Will it spread to B-Source, B-Port, and Deezer? Uh, and my thought are, thoughts are, yes, it will. Because I don't think Tidal just woke up one morning and said to themselves, we're not going to allow uh, TJs to do stems anymore on our content. Why would they do that? So I'm pretty sure that it was almost certainly came from the owners of the rights to the music, which means they will also come down on the other, uh, the other content providers at some point. Say, well, you can't, you can't allow, um, you can't allow stems without without music, without tracks uh, that we have the licenses for. So I'm pretty sure we're just seeing the uh, the, the first one. Tidal's just going to be the first one. But we'll see when something happens uh, in any of these matters. Uh, including the Hi-Fi Plus thing, I'll add it to the to the video uh, description. Um, but right now, as of uh, October tenth, two thousand and uh, and third, uh, twenty-three, we don't really know if this uh, this will happen. And then the final port, uh, point: Will I stay with title? And if we go back here, we can now see that this is Danish. Krona, so doesn't really care too much about the amount, but you can see that Tidal now gets twice as expensive because we're gonna need the Hi-Fi Plus one. And that's also about twice as expensive as some of the other content providers over here. So, no, I don't think I'm gonna stay with Tidal. I only use uh, online uh, content for for whenever there's a, uh, uh, and the art requests at a gig, um, and I knew I can't use them for, for recording my sets and stuff like that. So I buy all my tracks. So it's really only for the art requests. And all of these will actually be good enough for that. So why would I stay with the one that's going to cost me twice as much as the other ones and twice as much as I've paid until now? So no, I'm probably going gonna, gonna, to gonna drop my subscription for title. That's my thought at the moment. But uh, that's just my opinion. You should definitely make your own decision on that. Uh, but that's really just uh, about it on this date, the 10th of, of October, 2023, where we stand in Mercer DJ and in general with, uh, with Tidal and uh, what I think will happen with the uh, online content and stems mainly. <laughs>